All right, thanks for watching, and let's play a little mystery game. Does the root test apply? So consider the following series, the sum from, uh, well, let's say, n equals 0 to infinity of 2 to the minus 1 to the n minus 3 to the n. Well, it's something of the power of n, so the root test must surely apply. So, but let's see. Um, let's calculate the nth root test, the nth root of your sequence. So this becomes uh, absolute value, if you want, of 2 to the minus 1 to the n minus 3 to the nth power to the 1 over nth power, which becomes 1, and in the end, you're left with 2 to the minus 1 to the n minus 3. But the question is, is this less than 1? Well, let's see. Let's just plot a couple of values. So, uh, absolute value of 2 to the minus 1 to the n minus 3. Well, for n equals 0, this becomes 2 to the 1 minus 3, so 2 over minus 2, so absolute value of minus 2, which is 1. For n equals 1, this becomes uh, 2 over minus 1 minus 3, so 2 over minus 4, so minus 1 half, so an absolute value, it becomes 1 half. And then for n equals 2, you again get uh, 2 over uh, 1 minus 3, so 2 over minus 2, so minus 1, so absolute value becomes 1, and then 1 half, 1, 1 half, da, da, da. So what does this sequence of roots look like? So uh, 1 half, 1, 1 half, 1, 1 half, 1, 1 half, 1. Doesn't mean it's inconclusive. Just because it alternates, it doesn't mean it's inconclusive. But look at the limb soup. Well, the limb soup here is 1. So the limb soup, as n goes to infinity, of the nth root is in fact 1. So it's inconclusive. which means that the root test does not apply here. And we have to uh, think of a smarter way of doing this. And for this, no, look at the sequence itself. So sum from 0 to infinity of uh, 2 to the minus 1 to the n uh, minus 3 to the n. And by the way, the ratio test also doesn't apply. It's also inconclusive. So we have to think about something different. But let's just plot a couple of values of this sequence. So for n equals 0, you have something to the 0th power, which is 1. For n equals 1, this is minus 1. Minus 1 minus 3, it's minus 4. 2 over minus 4, that's minus 1 half. 1 half to the first power is minus 1 half. Now, for n equals 2, 1 minus 3, it's minus 2. 2 over minus 2, it's minus 1. Minus 1 squared is 1. For n equals 1, 2, 3, we get, again, minus 1 minus 3, it's minus 4. And then 2 over minus 4, it's minus 1 half. Minus 1 half cubed becomes minus 1 eighth. So minus 1 half cubed. Well, and then for n equals 4, we again, 1 minus 3, that's minus 2. 2 over minus 2, that's minus 1. Minus 1, fourth power becomes 1. But notice there's a pattern. The next term is 1 half, fifth power, 1, a one half, minus 1 half, seventh power, 1, dot, dot, dot. All right, so what does this sequence look like? Well, we have 1, okay, and then minus 1 half. So make this clear, let's suppose this is 0, and then 1, minus 1 eighth, 1, <laughs> minus 1 over 32, 1, etc., etc. So kind of, the sequence an alternates between 1 and those 
smaller and smaller values. So in fact, notice it cannot possibly converge to zero because all the values would have to get uh, eventually close to zero. So note a n doesn't converge to zero because a n equals one for even n. And therefore, since the sequence itself doesn't converge to zero, the series diverges by the divergence test. So this thing diverges by the divergence test. So kind of cool. Even though there's an nth power, the root test doesn't always apply. All right, thank you very much.